Hey everybody, this is Mike Hermes at Image Tutorials and today we're going to do a Christmas tree. All right. Now, um, I got a question, can you model a Christmas tree? Uh, and really, there's no point in modeling it. And the reason is that Maya has some pretty cool presets that you can use. So that's what we're going to do today. And although you have to tweak the settings a bit, and there are a couple of things you need to know, um, you know, this will give you a pretty decent result. Okay, so let's get started with that. So we're going to start off in uh, Windows, General Editors, and we're going to go to Visor. And in this Visor, you've got loads and loads of presets that you can use. Okay, we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to Trees, and here you've got quite a few options. Now, for a Christmas tree, we would typically use a pine tree. And you've got a couple of uh, options here, right? But this is a texture. You don't want to use that. This is a forest. We're going to go with this one, pinefast.mel. You can hold down your middle mouse button and hold down and drag and release on your grid, like so. Now we can minimize this. And now we need to kind of draw this tree on our grid. And why do I say draw? Because these are paint effects and later on we're going to transform them into polygons. Okay. Now the trick is not to hold down your left mouse button and drag because you'll get more than one tree and I'll show you. You get a whole row and you don't want that. So we're going to hit control Z. The trick is to just get one and you know I tried this quite a few times. It's tricky. So hold down your left mouse button and just pull up once. And still I got three, you see? We'll try that again. There we go, not bad, okay. So now we've got one tree, okay? Now, before you can render this out, you need to transform it into a polygon, like I mentioned, okay? So we've got this tree, we're gonna go up to Modify, Convert, and select uh, Paint Effects to Polygons. And as soon as you do that, you see that it now becomes two uh, articles or two objects. I'm just going to hit Q on my keyboard to get rid of this red thing, like so. Now you can select the wood section, hit W, and actually separate that, as you can see, right? So we don't want that. We're going to go back. And we're just going to do a render as is, okay? So we're just going to go to our render settings. I'll just get rid of that here. Render settings. And I'm going to use Mental Ray. And I'm not going to change anything else. And let's just see how this thing looks as is. We'll give that a sec. Now, as you can see, it's starting to look like a tree, but uh, it's a, a pretty sad Christmas tree, right? It's, it's pretty uh, bald, if you will, and it doesn't look too great. So we're going to tweak that a little bit, okay? First, we're going to set up our scene a little bit. So I'm just going to quickly create a, uh, a polygon ground plane, something like that. I'm going to right-click on that, assign new material. I'm going to use a Fong E, change the color to white like so. I'll hit 5 for shade mode so we can see that a bit better. Okay. And from this view, obviously the tree looks horrible, but it's all about the render view. Okay. We're going to set up some lights. So create lights. Point light. Just going to pull that out, pull that up to somewhere around there. Hit control D to duplicate that. Pull that down a bit, not too much. And maybe out over here, something like so. I'm going to select both my lights. I'm going to go to Shadows. And make sure I got Ray Trace Shadows selected. And I'm going to increase these values to 3 and 6. OK, cool. Next, we're going to go into our Render Settings. We're going to go to Indirect Lighting. Select Global Illumination increase the quality to about 1.5. In the comment tab, I'm not going to make the image that large because the render will take too long. Okay, so from a render point of view, just make sure that we've got ray tracing turned on. Yeah, there we go. That's all set. 
Now let's look at this tree. Uh, as I mentioned, it was uh, pretty bald. We can do one more render with the light and so forth before we tweak that. So let's uh, have a go. I'll just pause for a sec. All right, there we go. So that's our uh, scrawny little tree. Let's uh, deal with that, okay? So we're gonna select the leaves. And if you go to your window outliner, you can see that in your uh, pine setup, you got the, uh, the leaf and the main, okay? Select the leaf, all right. Now, if you go into that, uh, this, this one here, I believe. Let's see. I'm always trying to. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So stroke shape pine fast one. Now you got a couple of settings here. First of all, the sample density. It's set to a thousand. Okay. We're going to increase that to ten thousand. All right. We're going to increase seed to four. All right. Now, let's hang on. Let's pull it back. Now we're not. We're going to leave that at two. So the sample density we're going to increase that to ten thousand. Okay. For some reason, oh, we'll do two thousand. Okay. Let's give this another try. See what happens. Well, as you can see, it's still not too great, so we're going to tweak that some more. So let's take this sample density to, let's say, 30,000, all right? Now, that's going to take some memory, but we're going to try it anyway, okay? I'll just uh, render and pause during the render. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so the final render is done. And as you can see, it's a fairly decent Christmas tree. And because this is converted from a paint effect to a polygon, you can actually model uh, you know, ornaments and so forth in the tree. So uh, it's not exactly modeling, but it's a good alternative considering it's a preset in Maya. So uh, good luck with that. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys.